So I said debug a lot. Let, what is debug? Why did, I, why did I mention that? Well, debugging is a way for you to figure out step by step the lines of code you're executing. So you can actually figure out this is what happens now. This is what happens now. Dang, dang, dang. So let me extend the, the little bit of code we have right here. And again, I will get back to uh, what it all were, um, does. I'll just write this input file because I want to read the line into an input file and then I want to write it out. So um, I'm not writing the code yet, I just want to show you the debugger, how that works. Um, so let's just say plus input again using IntelliSense. Uh, and then I can write, uh, you wrote like this, and then I'll just do another read line just to wait for another response. Save this, I'll press start, and then what does it do? Try and figure it out yourself. I'll tell you now. You have to learn this, but what it actually does now is it compiles the code into binary code so the computer can read it, it jumps into debug mode, and then here we have our system. So let's try and write something here. Hi all, I'll press enter, and it says, you wrote hi all. I'll press enter again, and it'll shut down the program. So again, the question was, what is debug mode? It actually means that I can put in what we call breakpoints. So it means that I can start tracking step by step what's going on in my code. Now, code is stupid. If you don't have any threading inside your code, we'll get back to that way later, it'll just do line by line executing whatever you have, right? In this case, it's so simple. It'll just go line by line, just executing line one, line two, line three. So I can put in here what we call a breakpoint. I want the program to stop here, and I can do that in debug mode. I want to see what's actually happening right now. So let's try and run it again here in debug mode, and I put in the red pointer there, it stops the code, it stops executing and says, okay, I'm right here, do you expect me to be here? Do you expect me to do this? And what I'll do is, I'll here are three small buttons, step into, step over, and step out. We're going to use the step over one this lesson, and what I wanna do is, when I press step over, it'll console right line, hello dude, cling. So let's see the console log. Look, it says hello dude. And then I'll do another step over, because now it wants me to write something in. So I'll do a step over, and it waits for me. It says, okay, so write something. Hi all. I'll press enter, and it comes back to the code to the next step. Okay, so you wrote something in input, and notice, I can hold my mouse here, and it'll explain to me, the input is now hi all, because that's what you wrote, right? So debugging is crucial. You have to learn to use your debug tools. Also, you get here, what did you actually write? Now, I expect that this guy now prints out, you wrote hi all, right? So if it, if it printed, you wrote hello world, then I would be very confused. So let's see what it actually writes. I'll press step over again, and here it pops up, you wrote hi all, just like I expected. And then I'll just do a continue here, just to say I'm done waiting, just continue the debugging and it waits for my enter key. Now, that's debugging. Very basically, now you know what debugging is all about. In the future, we'll start using this a lot, just to try and explain to you step by step what's going on in the code. See you in the next lessons. Don't forget, debugging rocks.